what's up y'all so um i'm not really showing myself because i'm getting ready getting dressed just got out the shower my hair's done but that's about it but i needed to show y'all that the mole has lifted um, I was putting on my bra, maybe a little bit of TMI, but that's exactly what happened, okay? I was putting on my bra and accidentally, put when I was pulling my strap up, I accidentally scraped it. Remember the other day I told y'all it was lifting up a little bit and I, I wasn't sure if, if you know, y'all could really see it? Well, it was already lifted a little bit and then when I was pulling up my bra strap, um, it lifted it. So as you can see, it's hanging on that little thread so this is what it looks like this is the freeze-dried mold in case you know you are somebody that's new that's just clicking on um, I had this freeze-dried um, I think it was Monday or Tuesday of last week so it took about um, let's see I think it was I think I got that mold removed. Um, when did I get that mold removed, y'all? Mm, mm, mm. Child, go back into the archives. I did a video while I was at the dermatologist's office, and I'm sure I said happy whatever day it was. I think it was Monday or Tuesday of last week. So it took about a week and a couple days for the for the mold to fall off. The dermatologist told me that it would only take. The dermatologist says a uh, said a, a few weeks, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, that's you know." But it actually took only a week and a couple days, maybe. So, for those of you who have moles, such as I don't okay. So if y'all can see these little moles right here, I don't know if you can see them or tags as they call them, um, or like this mole here that um that I got, that I had on my arm, it wasn't cancerous, so they freeze dried it, and this is the results, that's the mole, that was on my arm, all right, y'all, so, um, like I said, I'm getting dressed, so I can't, you know, like, really get it in, but, um, my hair's done, now I just gotta lotion up and get dressed, that might be TMI, but whatever, I'm letting my eyebrows grow in, so they, they doing good, I'm just not messing with them, I'm just letting them grow, and then taking it from there. Um, this little thing right here, without showing myself, I'll come back. That carousel that my girl, um, Miss Carrie, gave me. Wait a minute, y'all, because it's a little shriveled up and I don't want no spaces or nothing in my hair. I'm sorry. Well, anyway, y'all, um, that little carousel right there. Um, Miss Carrie gave that to me, so I'll bring it up close one, once I'm dressed and let y'all see, you know, fully um, what's going on with it. Here, let me try to. But it's a carousel and it does spin around, and I got all kinds of stuff in there, so I'll come back. All right, y'all, so that's it. The mole has lifted up, y'all. <laughs> I am so glad because I was so curious as to what that was going to look like once that mole came off because it was a pretty big mole so here let me lay it back down because it's hanging on a thread so that's what it looked like if you could see you know that's how it was before it you know and then it started lifting up and now it's it's pretty much done it's flipping and flopping <laughs> All right, so um, sorry, I should have did a disclaimer. I'll put a disclaimer in the description box for those who may. Some people might read disclaimers. I'm sorry, um, but um, yeah, so that is the end result of my freeze-dried mold. It took a week and a few days. So go get the molds removed, child. Mm, mm, mm. All right, y'all, let me finish getting it together because I ain't got it together, okay? Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right honey uh y'all i'll see y'all in the next video only if it's the lord's will child because i don't know okay let me finish getting dressed here if it's his will now i'm gonna finish this up okay all right bye y'all and get the molds removed okay tell them them doctors that them things get caught in your necklaces if you got them on your neck it get caught in your clothes which is the truth now i ain't lie i literally 
put my bra on and it's, you know, when I was pulling it up, it scraped it. And that's the problem that I was having with the mold. I would accidentally do that sometimes with my bra or with my shirt or, you know, and it was very irritating. And then the ones on my neck, you know, if you got one of them necklaces with the real, um, the real, um, you know, little, little things and they can get caught up in there and it's irritating. And then sometimes if your neck itch, you might forget they're there and your nails will scrape it and it'll hurt or it'll make it bleed. Uh, so I mean, I wasn't lying or nothing like that about the issues I was having, but I'm just saying, you you know, it's cosmetic surgery. If you're just telling them that it's just embarrassing or irritating, um, and I just don't like them. That's considered cosmetic surgery. But if you are having issues with accidentally scratching them and hurting them and your necklace is getting caught up in them, if it's on your neck or your bra straps or clothes scraping it, I'm trying to, because I washed my hair and it's shriveled up. So I'm just trying to fix it. I don't usually see all that, but um, it is what it is. Y'all. All right, y'all. Let me go. Let me get off of here. All right, y'all. That's enough. Bye. Have a good one.